wish to start on behalf of the family for thanking you all for coming to celebrate with us the life and sadly the passing away of Cecilia Voldemort, who was a dear friend, a dear wife, a dear mother, grandmother, and uh, a fantastic person through and through. Now, when you came in, uh, you should have received uh, one of these. Well, after this service, we're going to have a memorial service. So, if you can, uh, if you're coming to a memorial service, and we hope that you are, uh, if you could keep hold of it, um, because in it is the order of the memorial service as well. But on this day, this day that the Lord has made, we're going to lift up His name in prayer and thank Him together for the life of our dear friend, our dear family member. So if you could stand with me now and bow your heads in prayer, we will lift this up to the King. Father Lord, we thank you for the life of Celia. We thank you for the laughs she gave us, Lord, for the memories, for the fond times, Lord. And Father, we know that right now she stands with you in glory, in paradise. Lord, she stands before you where there is no death, there is no pain, there is no tears. All that is but a memory. Yes. And Father, we pray that you be with us who have been left behind. Lord, we pray for the family that you, Holy Spirit, the Comforter, will be with them. Will be with us all, Lord, in this time. We thank you, our great King and our Lord, for everything. And we thank you for the years that you've blessed us to be with her. And we thank you for the memories of her. And Lord, we pray that today will be honouring to you and will be pleasing uh, in your sight. In your blessed name we praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created things shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You can be seated. <coughs> well, today we remember Cecilia Baltimore, and she was a member of our congregation, and we well loved. She was a Christian, she was a wife, a mother, a grandmother, of, uh, a mother of six, a grandmother of three, and one soon to be. She was full of life, and She's a co-worker with the people there at the hospital in the cardiac unit at Singleton Hospital. She's a friend. And so today we remember her, we mourn her passing, but yet for all those who are in Christ today, we'll see her again. We'll see Cecilia in heaven because that's where her hope lied in Jesus Christ. You know, before, about a year and a half ago, I went to visit her and she was hoping that God would heal her so that she could bring glory to God. She was hoping that she could be healed and then lift up Jesus' name because he's God, a God who heals. And, but she said, but if not, I'm ready to go to heaven. She was very sure in her hope. She was very confident in her hope. And when I went to see her, I went and I heard her and I came and I left. And I left realizing she was not shaken by her illness. She was not deterred at all by what had happened to her. She had a strong faith in that Jesus Christ was able to save her completely. And as Wilson just read that scripture, Romans 8, she lived out this scripture. Let me just read one bit of it again. It says, and I'm gonna put her name or she here, for she was persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor anything else shall separate her from the love of Jesus. That day when I went to go see her, she had such a confident hope, such a desire and longing to even be with the Lord if the Lord did not heal her. Her desire was to glorify God in life, and today she glorifies God in death because she had hope. You know, hope can see heaven through the thickest of clouds, Thomas Brooks says. And that's what we see with Cecilia. She could see her hope. She realized that to be with God was her desire. But she also was really wanting to glorify God if he healed her. I left there and this scripture came to mind to me that really summed up my talk there with Cecilia. Hebrews 6.19 this hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. You know, no matter what storms of life come, as she was in a storm of life herself there that day when I met with her, she had hope as an anchor. And that's the scripture as I meditated on what best summed up my meeting there with her that day about a year and a half ago. Hope as an anchor for the soul both sure and steadfast. You know, we all need to realize if you have Jesus, you have a hope, a sure hope. And this brings a confidence and helps us get to the storms of life. You know, that day I visited her, her hope as an anchor, both sure and steadfast, came through clear. She wasn't afraid of dying. She was looking forward to being with her Lord. And that really warms my soul. It gives me great pleasure to come and do her funeral here today because, because of that. To know someone who has whose hope was so sure 
who was ready to go be with the Lord, who in life wanted to glorify God and in death was looking forward to being with Jesus. And that's great faith. That's the Christian faith, somebody who is having their hope. And hope is a confident expectation of things to come. What this hope is, is the hope of heaven and eternal life through what Jesus has done, the forgiveness of sins. That when we die, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, to be in the presence of God. You know, Cecilia wanted to be healed to glorify God, but if not, she said, I'm ready to go home. Home to the Lord. Home to heaven. And today we can firmly say she's healed. Amen. By His stripes, she is healed. Amen. Oh, I just want to praise God with her because to glorify God, that's what she wanted to do. So today, she glorifies God in that she was willing to go to heaven, ready to go, but wanting to glorify God if she could be healed. But I, I stand and rejoice with her today. She's healed in the presence of God where there's no more sickness, pain, death, or crying. A place called heaven. For all those who believe and receive Jesus as their Savior, those become children of God and have this hope. Now, if we could have the family come forward, we'll commit Cecilia to the Lord and well, and Misha, could you? Now there is our family is all believers in Jesus Christ, and their hope is sure too, and steadfast. And I encourage you to have that hope sure and steadfast, like Mom had, like your wife had, like your mother-in-law had at this time. She looked forward to being with Jesus. That's where she's at. You know, we're going to miss her, but we're going to see her again. You understand? That's what we've got to remember, that even though her, she's absent here today, we're going to see her again. And that's our hope. That's the hope we have as Christians. You know, we mourn missing her, but we know that we'll see her again. And that's the hope that she had, that's the hope that we have as Christians. And that's the hope that the Baltimores here have today because they're all Christians standing before me today. And so be encouraged in these things. Someday you'll see her again. And she is healed today. Amen. She is healed. But let's pray. Let's pray for the family and then we'll sing Great is Thy Faithfulness. <laughs> Father God, today as we mourn the loss and absence of Cecilia, we, Lord, rejoice that she's with you and healed in heaven. We pray for the family, Lord, as they will miss her but never forget her, that you would comfort their hearts with that anchor of hope, steadfast and sure like she had. Comfort them that she is there dancing before the throne in heaven, healed, where there's no more sickness, death, pain, or crime. We pray you'd comfort their hearts and Lord, help them to look forward to seeing her again soon, Lord, hopefully. Because, Lord, we look for your soon return. And, Lord, we now commit Cecilia to you. Lord, uh, you said from ashes, dust that we come to ashes, we go back. And, Lord, you can resurrect the body. And we know that we'll be absent from the bodies to be present with the Lord. So we rejoice with Cecilia now today. Be with the family now and family and friends and all those who've known her, to know the hope that Cecilia knew as an anchor, sure and steadfast. In Jesus' name.